Research design is the backbone of any effective study, shaping how we approach questions and gather insights. It's like the blueprint for a building. Without it, you risk structural failure. Let's dive into the different types of research design, exploratory, descriptive, diagnostic, and experimental. First up is exploratory research. This type is all about discovery. Imagine you're a detective piecing together clues when the case is still a mystery. Exploratory research is used when we know little about a topic. It helps us generate hypotheses and understand the context. For example, if a company wants to explore why their new product isn't selling, they might conduct focus groups or interviews to gather initial insights. This phase is crucial because it lays the groundwork for more structured research. Next, we have descriptive research. This is where we start to paint a clearer picture. Descriptive research aims to describe characteristics of a population or phenomenon. Think of it as taking a snapshot. Surveys and observational studies are common methods here. For instance, a researcher might survey college students to understand their study habits. The data collected can reveal trends and patterns, providing valuable information for educators and policymakers. Then there's diagnostic research. This type digs deeper into the why behind certain phenomena. It's often used in fields like healthcare or business to identify problems and their causes. For example, if a hospital notices a spike in patient readmissions, diagnostic research can help pinpoint whether it's due to inadequate follow-up care or other factors. By analyzing existing data and conducting interviews, researchers can uncover the root causes of issues, leading to more effective solutions. Finally, we arrive at experimental research. This is the gold standard for establishing cause and effect relationships. In experimental research, researchers manipulate one variable to see how it affects another. A classic example is a clinical trial testing a new medication. Participants are randomly assigned to either the treatment group or the control group, allowing researchers to measure the drug's effectiveness while controlling for other variables. This type of research is rigorous and can provide strong evidence for conclusions. Understanding these research designs is essential for anyone looking to conduct effective research. Each type serves a unique purpose and can be used at different stages of inquiry. The choice of design influences how we collect and analyze data, ultimately shaping the insights we gain. In summary, whether you're exploring new ideas, describing trends, diagnosing issues, or conducting experiments, a solid research design is key. It not only guides your methodology, but also ensures that your findings are valid and reliable. So, as you embark on your research journey, remember, the design you choose will pave the way for the discoveries you make.